Welcome to Hickory Street Podcast. Back again with another episode. Um, this is going to be a uh, a little bit different of an episode, kind of. It's just going to be a solo one. Um, so, the After Dark Podcast Festival went really well, and if you're not familiar, um, I also run a, another podcast where I interview bands and uh, have them play a live set in my studio up at UNT. Um, the production manager, Dean, helps out uh, with the space and with the crew to run the cameras and the audio. So, really fun, and we just had our first festival this past weekend, um, and I've got a lot of stuff coming up soon that I'm going to have to prepare for, so this past weekend I finally didn't do anything, I, I just relaxed, um, and currently I've just been eating a lot and drinking a lot, <laughs> I'm currently drinking a beer right now, actually. But uh, the podcast uh, festival went really well. Uh, had a lot of positive energy, a lot of positive people that were there and supportive, and everybody was friendly. And um, we ended up losing money doing it. It wasn't uh, as much as I was expecting, and I was able to pay all of the bands something. Um, and hopefully next year will be a lot better. Uh, but next next month, I've got two more episodes scheduled. And then in May, we're going to have to probably take some time off because our band is going on tour. We're going on a, a West Coast tour with a few different Texas dates. And... Just because life is getting expensive, and I've been spending a lot of money recently, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to have to kind of slow down and um, refocus very soon so that uh, I can have enough money for the tour that we're going on and to make all of that work. So, lots of exciting things going on. Um uh, my life has been kind of chaotic, along with some of the friends of mine. It just seems like everybody's kind of going through some really strange life stuff recently. So, um, if you're listening and you've got a lot of moving parts in your life or things just seem really chaotic, just know that it's kind of happening to everybody right now, specifically with the economy. I mean... I, I actively keep up with uh, what's going on in the news in regards to the economy. And it's not looking too good. And there's a big part of me that thinks like, well, maybe now isn't a good time to try to go on tour or try to do music. You know, maybe I should take a back seat and um, not be as active, but... I'm kind of I'm kind of in a position where I'm too far into it now at this point and there's no turning back. So whatever happens happens and uh you know, we we've had some drummer issues recently too. Um had our, our drummer drop out before the festival and we finally got that sorted out for the festival itself and now we're trying to make sure he's ready for the tour and if he's even going to go on the tour now I mean he says he is but you know this sort of thing can sort of a toss up and go either way um, but specifically with the economy if you really look at what's going on and keep up with the news um, you know there was a, a Credit Swiss bank that um, was going under, and they essentially got bailed out by um, 
uh, UBS, which was a, uh, which is an, another bank, and they were kind of pressured to do so by the uh, Swedish government because of uh, what's happening right now, and the, the fact that um, Credit Suisse has so much debt tied up in so many other extremely huge banks that if Credit Suisse failed, it was just going to be a, a catastrophic event that was going to ripple, and it was going to going to hit us all and in ways waves and potentially spark uh an international economic collapse and it's very possible that that could happen still we don't entirely know but uh i think what's going to happen is that individual countries that have the ability to do so are going to do what we've always done during something like this which is bail out the banks so um you know, there was also that big thing in the news about uh, that that bank out in California, the tech bank. I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember, but it was like they were responsible for the majority of the loans that were given to tech startups and um, all of the major tech companies, and they didn't have the capital to uh, keep up with the FDIC uh, installment p payment plans. So if you've been paying attention to that, too, it's really interesting. Uh, the government has now extended the FDIC law to... Um, beyond $250,000 so that uh, people who had their money tied up in this bank can maintain their finances uh, as things have collapsed. I'm going to look up the name of that bank again because it's bothering me. Um, huh. S S V B, yeah. That's what it was called. Yeah. So the S V B bank is what failed. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with the economy. Um, I recently. Uh, I recently kind of started a new relationship. Um, me and my ex broke up, so now I'm in a new relationship. And, you know, she she tends to think that uh, something really big is going to happen soon. And uh, I, I don't think it'll be as big as she believes it to be purely because there's so many resources available in the event of a crash and even though things I think are going to be really difficult specifically for people who are in like white collar jobs um, I think a lot of the trade jobs are going to be secure but let's, you know, I guess we'll just have to see what happens because nobody really knows. And the stock market in general right now is so up and down. I mean, it's it's like the last couple of days, it's either ballooned or it's just tanked. There's not really been much of a middle ground at all. And uh, I personally stopped investing in the stock market uh, about six months ago. And I think that's probably the best decision right now. Because anywhere you allocate, uh, allocate your resources... Um, 
as far as a a stock goes is so it's just so risky right now and i think soon i think very soon actually uh this is going to have to get sorted out because we're reaching the breaking point, in my opinion, whenever it comes to uh, how much longer we can manage such a volatile economy with inflation high. And everybody's been freaking out about whether or not the Federal Reserve is going to increase the interest rates um, by 05 or not because if they did that the the argument is is that it would definitely cause an economic collapse now um but i'm of the assumption that even if they don't do that it's still going to cause an economic collapse so we're kind of at the end here as far as options goes and that's kind of freaky um uh, but what what needs to happen is going to happen, and there's nothing we can do to slow it down or stop it. And that's all this past year and a half really has been. It's really just been us trying to slow it down and stop it, but um, it really should have happened then so that we wouldn't be dealing with it now. And now it's so interconnected that it could potentially be worse than what it was, you know, a year and a half ago if we had just sort of... if we had just priced the market appropriately instead of gradually trying to ease and all this other stuff. So, um... I don't know. It's kind of sad some degree because p- people are, are going to be affected just like me and you um just people that don't really have a whole lot of money or are still creating a career for themselves and what's worse is that it's gonna hurt the people that are of retirement age or close to retirement age the most probably Uh, I think it's going to force people to work another 10, 15 years if they need to, because whatever happens within the next three to five years, it's probably going to take equally as long to recover. So um, this is just kind of the, this is just the visible part of the iceberg. (laughs) There's a lot that we don't know still and with everything happening in Ukraine right now um tensions there are being escalated and it's not talked about nearly as much as I think it should be and that's also kind of freaky because uh if if economies all over the world start to tank and there aren't any and there aren't any clear pathways out of it and countries are more and more desperate um not only for economic reasons but also just cultural reasons to maintain stability in the face of an economic crisis it's going to cause more countries to enter the war not only out of uh, some sort of economic necessity but because practically speaking countries that are facing a unique economic situation are going to be politically and um militarily exposed and that's going to be a problem so 
We'll just need to take it one day at a time, hopefully. Um, I feel like personally right now I'm in a point in life where uh, I'm having to make a lot of very important decisions and I would like to focus more on music right now um, and I think I, I need to soon but I'm, I'm kind of at a point where I'm I'm losing the energy that it needs to write and revitalize the musical creation part of me. And that that's really hard to handle right now. Um, and it's not that I don't I don't have the the energy in general. It's just after I've expended and stretched myself so thin recently, especially at the end of this festival. It's like trying to find a way to write music or think about music. Um, It's getting different. Not necessarily harder, but different. Because I'm still listening to a lot of music. And I want to do a music review soon. Um, I've, I came across a few really different artists that are very, very interesting to me. Uh, so, let's see what happens as far as our band goes. Because... I, I want to go a different direction, and uh, I have ideas in my head, but I haven't really tried them out yet, and I don't really know, I don't even really know if I'm thinking about this in the right way, or if I'm moving in the right direction, and see with me personally and i don't know how other musicians feel about this but um it almost feels like the songs come to me like i don't really seek them out you know it's like it's almost like i'm channeling some kind of energy like exterior energy um but recently, it's like I haven't been getting any of that. Like I just, it's, it's almost like I haven't been receiving any of that energy that inspires me to write music. It's like I, that piece has just kind of escaped me right now. And maybe there's a reason for that, but... Um, I think that whatever it is that I do musically in the future, it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to have to think through things a little differently. So, um, we might, as a band, we might start to sound very different than what we sound right now. And uh, hopefully it'll be received well. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure yet. But, um, yeah, so that's a quick update. Uh, give the After Dark podcast um, a, a, a listen to and uh, a subscribe on YouTube. And... Uh, Stay tuned for another music review soon, maybe in the next couple weeks, whenever I get some more downtime. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to start getting back to the grind very soon. This little weekend is like a short little rest stop break <laughs> that I needed this month. Um, 
So I'm about to go watch a documentary that I started the other day and maybe do a little bit more reading. So eventually I'll be doing the a new book review too. I just got to find the time to finish this book. So All right. Well, enjoy your Sunday. Thanks for listening if you are listening. <laughs>